Miss Jaden to your fear. fear. Some of the tweets I've gotten, some of the rude, just some people just comments are just so nasty and so rude. So nasty and so rude. So nasty and so rude. Yes, I'm pulling a Nene leaks because some some things are just unnecessary. Like I had some fish done went on there and <laughs> said, Jaden, every time she walks down the runway, she looks like a gay blimp. Now that's rude. Now that's real rude. Now that's rude. I know I got a stomach. I know I got some thickness. I'm a big girl and I live for it, honey. I ain't got no problem with my thickness. I ain't got no problem with my tummy. I ain't got a problem with this little good good I got going on. But child, that was just rude. That was just uncalled for. But however, I do think a lot of people are very confused um, because everybody is just like, well, not everybody, but a lot of people online, um, and I try to stay out of a lot of negativity, but sometimes you just happen to come across it or somebody, sometimes somebody will say, oh girl, did you see what this person was saying about you online? And you go online and you know, a lot of people have been like, oh my God, I'm so over Jaden. Oh, every week is another leotard. Oh my gosh, I mean, a leotard is she got to wear? And it's just like, honey, first of all, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you something. Every look that you have seen and every look that you will see while coming down the runway are creations of mine, whether it's a leotard or if it's, it's not. At the end of the day, honey, I'm still rocking it. I love it. It's my style. Everybody has style. Some queens are naked girls. Some queens always come down naked. Some some queens always have similar hairstyles. Some queens always come down in the gown. There are things that make a queen who they are. And I am a queen. Sometimes I like to wear things that I can move and that I can dance in. A queen never knows when they're going to have to lip sync. And just in case if I ever have to, honey, I want to be prepared. I don't want to be restricted by a girl. Garment. So short or long, tall or short, I love it. I put it on my body. You don't have to like it at all, honey. That's fine. That's fine. I understand because there's some things that I don't like. So I completely understand. But you don't have to discredit people, you know, and just be so rude. Just so nasty and so rude. What's wrong with the world nowadays? Um, But, you know, the thing about me and all my looks that you ha you are going to see and all the looks that you have seen are um the looks that I brought to the show besides one look um were all made by me um I spent you know a whole bunch of hours and hours and hours sitting in my drag room sewing um once I found out I was on the show and we got the list of the looks that we're supposed to bring I was actually kind of freaking out because I was like oh my gosh like, especially the nude illusion challenge. I was like, really? No big girl wants to do no, a nude illusion, honey. Child, I don't even want to be thought of being naked. Child, goodness gracious. That's just, that's just not Christian like. That's not holy. But, anyways, um, I did have some issues with getting my costumes together for the show. Um, specifically the nude illusion. Um, I got, at first I couldn't find any of the fabric in, in my color. So, and I, it still wasn't matching my skin tone perfectly like it was supposed to. So, um, and then a guy, I had a guy who was supposed to, here locally, that was supposed to airbrush it and contour on my titties and my crack and my nipples. Child, he stood me right on up. So, I was sent off already just already kind of defeated because I wasn't um I didn't feel fully prepared on that look only. But for the most part, all of my other looks, I must say I love them and I've worked very hard sewing each and every look. This is to all of the new queens or the girls who are just getting started or um even if you've been doing drag for a while, because you can never stop learning. You're always learning, no matter if you've been doing drag for 10 or 15 years. There's always something that you can improve yourself on. Um, I'm still even working on improving myself. I'm not nearly as close to flawless and, and near, not even nearly as polished as I would like to be. Um, but however, I will let y'all know that you don't need a drag mom to help you or you don't need someone to help prepare your career or to teach you everything. Um, and I say that because 
my drag career, I've learned everything. And when I tell you everything, I've learned everything from YouTube. YouTube YouTube.com is my drag mom. That's who my drag mom is. So you're technically on my drag mom, so get off. I'm just playing. No. Uh, YouTube.com is my drag mom. And the reason why I say that is because I've looked at hair make, uh, hair tutorials, makeup tutorials. I've even learned how to sew. All of the costumes that you'll see me in um, are all creations that I've sewn and what I've learned to sew through trial and error. You can learn how to make a pattern on here. You can learn how to make a skirt on here. You can learn how to make a gown on here. One of my favorite, if not my all-time favorite, um... Uh, channels on YouTube. Her name is DIY Misha. That's D-I-Y-M-E-E-S-H-A. Um, I love that girl. Unfortunately, she's in heaven, so she's no longer making any more YouTube videos, but they're still up and they're still online. Um, literally, you can learn how to make a basic dress and turn it into something that's more of your drag style. And I just wanted to say that because um, for all the new queens and all the girls who just want to get into sewing or just want to improve upon their drag, there's things that you can do without having, having to have a drag mom to tell you every single thing about, um, the drag world. So anyways, that's just what I've been going through. The things I've been hearing, I just thought I had to make a video to express how I feel. Um, my opinions, just like everybody else has expressed their opinion online and be nice and rude. Um, I'm going to express my opinion as well on here. So anyways, I hope y'all having a spectacular night. Be blessed and have fun and always be safe. Mm hmm.